Maryland is having exceptionally good rainy season. The rainfall this year surpasses what Somaliland experienced in the last two decades. That's a blessing. But it also brought to the front the problem of stationary water bodies inside cities. In our first report, we will look into one of those water bodies inside the capital. That's Dami Dam. Water bodies are a good sight in any place. They are pleasant to the surroundings and make the micro weather gentle. The breeze is just better near them. However, in close proximity to residential areas, they are hazardous. They can even be deadly. Hargeisa is not placid with permanent running rivers. The only semi-permanent water bodies in the city are rudimentary sand dummies. Once at the peripheries of the city, today some of them are at the heart of the residential areas. Dami in New Hargeisa is one of them. Fed by large water courses, it risks flooding every rainy season. And beyond the rainy season, it poses numerous challenges to the residents of the area. The people of this impoverished neighborhood have been struggling with the water body for years. The more than average rainy season this year only exasperated their suffering. Mothers here tell us about being trapped in their homes with water logged roads blocking water supply from them. They are even scared to send their children to school. The dam causes many, many problems. It blocks the road and therefore we don't have a street. The water tanker cannot reach us. The worst thing about it is the health risk that it is posing because of the trash. The water carries all this trash to our homes. We live down there at the mouth of the stream. We don't have a path to the town. Our children cannot go to school. The school and the road too are waterlogged. We are suffering because of this dam. We are suffering because of the dam. The sand dam followed the neighborhood last year and a little boy lost his life. President Musa Bihri and the mayor of Hargeisa, Abdurrahman Soltelko, both visited the neighborhood. The president ordered the water to be cleared within 24 hours. I am telling you, the rain is coming and the dam is full. The water should not flood the city. The water should be drained. You have to work on saving the lives of the people living around here and other places. Your other works and plans for the city are yours. But with the coming 24 hours, you have to prevent the looming disaster, which is the coming rain, and the dam which is in full capacity. I want you to work in day or night. The local government had begun work in the area, but probably with the intention to relieve enough water to avert disaster. Perhaps that was their interpretation of the task from the president, but residents here saw it differently. They believe it was a pledge to rid them of their nightmare. We are trapped people. We are victims. Every person appointed in government promises that he will fix the situation. The president himself visited us. He promised many times with emphasis that he will fix the place. But we haven't seen anything come of it. We haven't seen any action from the mayor, members of parliament, and everyone comes to our dusty, muddy area when he's running for office. Besides the threat of catastrophic flooding, the dam is also a public health hazard. The water courses that feed the dam bring gigantic amounts of trash. Local littering and improper waste disposal are to the problem. The fact that the residents are not doing anything about it does not mean they are not aware of the risks. You can see the state of the reservoir with your eyes. You can see the trash and water mixing. We are the poor people who live near it with our children. Only God can help us. Our government knows of us if they desire to help us. People die here. Right now there are missing children that are suspected to be down there. The other day there was a search party for a young boy. He's still missing. The government does not help. The dam has claimed the lives of our children. 
Some children drink from the dam without parents knowing and becoming sick. Built decades ago for watering livestock, the people feel that the sand dummies have overlived their need. They pose numerous risks to the lives and the health of the city residents. They also occupy prime real estate land that could be utilized for other public good purposes. People here are vocal about their desire to be rid of the sand dam. And the president seems to even share their opinion. So far, what's lacking is the will to do it.